So let's examine the following example that deals with the Doppler effect for electromagnetic radiation. So let's suppose a spaceship is moving with a velocity that is equal to 80% of the speed of light in a vacuum with respect to the stationary Earth. If that spaceship transmits a signal with a frequency of 1 times 10 to the 7 hertz in the same direction as the motion of that spaceship, we want to find the shift in frequency if in part A the spaceship is moving towards the Earth and in part B the spaceship is moving away from the Earth. So let's begin with part A by looking at the following diagram. So we have the stationary Earth, our stationary observer, and the spaceship, which is basically the source of light, is traveling towards the observer with a velocity V. So velocity V represents the relative velocity of our spaceship. So. Let's look at the following equation that we're going to use to basically solve our problem. So the new frequency f is equal to f naught multiplied by the square root of c plus v divided by c minus v. So this equation represents the equation for the Doppler effect of electromagnetic radiation when our two objects are moving towards one another. So basically there's a relative velocity towards our two objects. So let's plug in our values. We know that F naught is equal to this quantity and we know that V is equal to 0.8 C. So we have our frequency 10 to the 7 Hertz multiplied by the square root of C plus 0.8 C divided by C minus 0.8 C. So the top becomes 1.8 C, the bottom becomes 0.2 C and the C's will cancel out. So 1.8 divided by 0 0.2 gives us 9. So the frequency is equal to the old frequency multiplied by the square root of 9 or 3. So 3 multiplied by this gives us a frequency of 3.0 times 10 to the 7 hertz. So basically, because the light source, because our spaceship is moving towards the stationary observer, the wavelength will decrease and the frequency will increase of our electromagnetic radiation. And the answer is this. Now let's move on to part B. In part B, we have the opposite situation in the sense that our light source, the spaceship, is moving away from the stationary observer, from the stationary Earth. And that means instead of using this equation, we use this equation where we replace our V with negative V. So this becomes F equals F naught multiplied by the square root of C minus V divided by C plus V. So we plug in this quantity for F naught and we multiply that by the square root of C minus 0.8 C divided by C plus 0.8 C. So the top becomes 0.2 C, the bottom becomes 1.8 C. So once again we cross out the C's and this quantity becomes 1 divided by 9 and the square root of 1 divided by 9 is 1 divided by 3. So basically this divided by 3 gives us 3.33 times 10 to the 6 hertz. So the new frequency is equal to this quantity and notice it is smaller and that's because the light source is moving away from the stationary observer that will basically increase the wavelength and decrease the frequency. So once again because light source moves away from the stationary observer that implies that the frequency of electromagnetic radiation will decrease.